Hey everyone, Nvidia stock price is absolutely soaring and as usually what happens when a stock price reaches the levels that Nvidia is reaching, there's a lot of questions surrounding a stock split. Could Nvidia split its stock? Will it split its stock? Is it a reason to buy now? I begin to get a lot of those questions in the comments section of my videos. So I'll answer in this video whether or not I think Nvidia should split its stock or if it's going to split its stock. But remember, I've had Nvidia stock recommended as a top stock to buy for a while now. In fact, it's one of my top stocks to buy in 2024. And I made that video around December 30th, December 31st, when all this talk about a stock split wasn't under discussion. So I'll go through whether or not Nvidia will split its stock and I'll answer whether or not you should buy before it announces the split. So let's jump right in. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. I mentioned that Nvidia's stock price has been soaring and you can see over the last three years, it's more than tripled from a little under $200 per share all the way up to $788 per share. Of course, the last time Nvidia announced the stock split was in 2021, and the stock price was less than $600 at that point. So at $788 per share, a stock split is becoming more and more likely for Nvidia. Although I will say, I don't think a stock split is a reason to buy a stock. And I'll tell you why that's the case. Because when you split a stock, there is nothing fundamentally changed about the investment. You've just split it into more shares. It's not unlike if you buy a pizza, one big slice of pizza for $5, or if I was to cut that one big slice of pizza into two slices and sell it to you at $2.50 each slice. Did you get more value? No. Are you getting the same amount of pizza for the price you are paying? Yes, you're still getting the same amount of pizza for the price that you're paying. You're just cutting it up a little bit differently. So is that a reason to buy a stock because you're getting it cut up a little bit differently? I don't think so. And I've never thought that to be the case. And I've mentioned this with all of the videos I've done about stock splits. And before I was doing videos, I was writing articles and I was talking about the same factor. And when I teach intermediate and beginning corporate finance at university, I tell my students the same thing. And all the students seem to be shocked that all that's happening in a stock split is a stock is getting sliced up into more pieces and nothing is fundamentally changing. And they always ask the question, well, why does it create so much enthusiasm? Why does it create so much hype? And why do so many people want to buy a stock when it creates a stock split? And I ask them the same question right back to them. I don't know, why does it create so much enthusiasm? Why, why so much hype? It's sometimes coming from a thought that maybe you're getting a better value because you're paying a lower price. For instance, right now, Nvidia is at $788 per share. Imagine it does a 10 for one split and it becomes $78 per share. Investors could start to think, wow, I can buy NVIDIA at $78 per share now when it used to be $788 per share. And so now it must be a great value because the share price is so much lower. But they failed to follow up and remember that they're also getting one-tenth of what they were getting before. They're one-tenth of what you were getting before. So imagine buying a whole pizza for $788 versus buying just one-tenth of that pizza for $78. You're not getting better value, you're just getting less pizza. And of course, you're going to pay a lower price for less pizza. Now, then I hear the argument, well, it makes the stock price more affordable for more investors. Yeah, that's partly true, but you're beginning to see more and more brokerages are offering fractional share buying. In fact, here from uh, The Motley Fool's Ascent, they have five brokerages that offer fractional share investing, including Robinhood, SoFi, Fidelity, Charles Schwab, and Cash App, allow you to buy fractional shares. So you could buy a fraction of NVIDIA stock anyways. If you wanted to spend $75 on NVIDIA stock, you could buy $75 worth of NVIDIA stock and you would get a fraction of a share. 
the same as you would get if you were buying one tenth of the Nvidia stock. So fundamentally, nothing is changing when a stock does a split. And that's what I've been repeating over and over with these stock split uh, videos and companies that do a stock split and all that. And you might say, well, then why does a company do it? Well, because it creates enthusiasm. It creates press. It creates videos like this one. It creates more people asking about and being interested in the stock. So it does create that. But fundamentally, nothing changes. And so that's why I've been saying. Now, don't take this to mean that I don't like NVIDIA stock. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I had recommended NVIDIA stock as one of my top stocks to buy. But not because it's going to split or its potential split, right? Just because of the underlying value that you're getting in the business. And you're getting a lot. And I'll share that with you here. So when you're measuring on a price to earnings forward ratio, now you're measuring what you're getting in return for the price that you're paying. Okay. You're not just looking at the market price. You're looking at what you're getting in return, which isn't that how everyone shops anyways. When you go to a store, aren't you always evaluating what you're getting for the price that you're paying? Aren't you always willing to pay more for a 12 pack of soda versus just a single can of soda? Right. So you want to look at what you're getting in return and you're getting a lot in return for what you're paying for NVIDIA stock. You can see NVIDIA is trading at a forward price to earnings of twenty six point nine five. And I've brought some of the large cap valuation companies here for comparison. For instance, with Tesla, you're paying a forward price to earnings of forty three point six two, which is more expensive than all of these other three companies that you're looking at here. Uh, including NVIDIA, which is at 26.95, Microsoft, which is trading at a forward PE of 30.84, and Apple, which is trading at a forward PE of 25.47. So out of these large cap companies, NVIDIA is among right there on the cheaper end of these four companies. So what you're getting in return is a pretty good value for NVIDIA stock, especially if you dig deeper and you look at the fundamentals of the company, here I have NVIDIA's operating profit margin for the last five years. And you could see it's been among the leader in this metric and definitely the leader in the latest two trailing 12 month periods at 54.12%, uh, 10 percentage points ahead of Microsoft at 44%, and 24 percentage points ahead of Apple at 30.74%. And way six times more than Tesla at 9.19%. Tesla is all the way at the bottom, way below everyone else. And then if you look at cash flow from operations to sales, again, NVIDIA in the lead at 46.11% compared to Microsoft at 45, Apple at 30, Tesla at 13.7. And interestingly, Tesla is the most expensive while its fundamental prospects are the worst among these four companies. And you might say, well, why is Tesla so expensive? And isn't that a poor value? And for the most part, that's what I've been saying for the last several years, that Tesla is overvalued based on its fundamental characteristics. And there's a lot of hope and enthusiasm around Tesla stock, which is having a trade at premium valuations, and you're not getting a lot in return. Compare that to Nvidia, you're getting the best in class in terms of these large tech companies, in terms of these critical metrics, and you're paying one of the lower valuations. So for all those reasons, I've had NVIDIA stock rated as one of my top stocks to buy. And it's still one of my top stocks to buy. If it does or doesn't do a stock split, it's not going to change my recommendation one bit. Not at all. Whether it does or doesn't factor in in any way shape or form to my recommendation for nvidia stock it's going to create this short-term enthusiasm and the price might jump because of that but then it'll come back down within a short amount of time adjusting to the price and the value characteristics that the company offers those short-term boosts in share price related to a stock split announcement or uh, anything like that typically go away after a certain amount of time. So I'm not counting on that for a reason to buy Nvidia stock. Instead, I'm counting on the fundamental characteristics of the business, the strong revenue, profit, and cash flow growth driven by the rising demand from artificial intelligence, 
That's why I recommend NVIDIA stock as a buy, not because of a stock split. Before I let you go, let me tell you about the greatest deal on YouTube. With just a click of a button, you can get free financial analysis from a professor with decades of investing experience. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again soon.